what's up guys welcome back to a new video so this is the third video i've actually recorded today so sure still staying the same today in front of me i have this camera bag this is a small camera bag this is my first camera bag actually and inside of it has my camera the broken one so let's talk about what that camera is what happened and what's coming next it's very sad that's but sad things do happen sometimes and because of that i get to rent this camera with a massive 7200 lens that's 2.8 the whole way through, and this video looks fantastic. So, that being said, roll that intro, let's get into the video. Alright, so this camera, it's my first camera actually I ever had from 2016. This is a Panasonic DMC GX85, and this little boy, hey, come on, focus. This bad boy here is a very, it's a good camera. It works well, has the articulate, it has a screen on the back, and this is the one of the uh, lenses I got for it. So this little guy has a 16 megapixel shooter, micro four thirds, so it's got that tiny little sensor in there. Come on, focus on the camera. No? Okay, whatever. Uh, has a tiny little sensor in there. And this has been my main camera for six years now. So, what else is in this bag? So we have the camera, we're just going to put that over here on the bed. And then we have um, two other lenses I have for this camera. We have a collapsible 12-32. Come on, 12-32 right here. And this lens has been what I've done all my videos on in the past. Of course it's collapsible, so it gets, it gets bigger but it's a fantastic lens. It's, um, it, it's an f2.5 and it goes, it does really well. It's a, uh, sorry, it's a 3.5 to 5.6, obviously on the ex uh, extremes of both ends there, and for that lens. So the 3.5 is when you're shooting at uh, 12 and the 5.6 is when you're at the 32. Then comes my last lens that I had with this camera, which was a Olympus 75-300, which is actually technically bigger than this lens because this lens only goes up to 200 this goes up to 300 at micro four thirds so it really makes it 600 so this is technically if i do the math a this is actually a 150 600 so this is insane the pictures of the moon which actually are right there and there there's a picture up there and there's a picture right there uh this photo right here this for me that photo right there um, uh, it was taken at 600, uh, actually it was taken at 1200 millimeters, but I shot it on this with a, no, it was taken at 2400 millimeters, but I shot it on this lens with a four times, uh, converter afterwards. So, yeah, this lens, fantastic, beautiful lens, uh, it's a little crunchy, a little crunchy, I don't know if you can hear that. A little bit crunchy, but it works. It's very smooth. It's very good. It's fantastic. So I love this lens. Um, so again, yeah, you can see those numbers right here on the side. Come on, focus on the camera, not me. It's not going to whatever. Um, but yeah, this is a this is a four point eight to six point seven, and this is the this is the Olympus Mark II. So that's this lens. Again, let's see if it'll behave, but this is the little collapsible boy here. And yeah. Okay, fine, you're not gonna focus, whatever. Um, but yeah, so these are my three these are my three lenses with this camera. Now, let's talk a bit about what happened with this camera. So this camera, obviously it's been struggling actually for quite a bit. Um, and uh, at the summer camp I was using it was struggling even more. And with this camera, because of its how it stabilizes, it actually moves this it has to bring the sensor up from slightly hidden to turn on. I don't know if you can see that in there. Okay, it's not to focus, but whatever. Um, so the little sensor in here it has to stabilize and it gets hidden. And the motor that actualizes that stabilization to move, stabilizer to move, does not work anymore. So it'll take like one or two pictures now, sometimes. But, okay, so it's actually working a little bit now. But it would not work for like a straight day. And so it, getting retired sadly so it's gonna go up on the shelf of retired cameras of which there are no others this is my first one which is really sad so yeah that's just a quick look at this camera what went wrong with it um yeah it, i went for like a whole day trying to get to turn on take one photo it wouldn't 
um, which is really sad. I've had this problem a little bit in the past. I don't remember if you remember my videos from my dorm where it would be recording and then the whole video would just shake really randomly and then it would go back to being normal and I would complain. Uh, that's what was happening when it was starting off getting really bad. Um, sometimes it'll just shake and whine and the whole camera will be vibrating and I can't get it to stop unless I take the battery out. And so it's been really sad seeing this camera um, begin to degrade like this. But, I mean, all things come to an end and I'm really excited to get a new camera. But again, it's really sad. And yeah, so, I mean, we'll see what camera I wind up with next. I'm really excited to see what happens. But yeah, so that's the end of this camera and that's the end of this video. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy, fam. Peace.